Right, back on again. Just waited for some group of cyclists to go by. The deer have gone. I think the, the, the noise they were making um, probably scared them off and they've gone. I caught them just in time, really. I would never have seen them. A great big group of them. I've seen them going away. They, they were nervous by those bikers. The trig point's right over there, on the top of that hill there. I'll be walking around it. I'm not going up it. I don't feel the need to have to keep going up the trig point. But if you follow the trig point down across there, down and down and down to those trees, Smith's Coombe. Yeah, Smith's Coombe. You can, I've not been down this side of it. There's another path this way. I think it links up with it, but down this side. Yeah, they were a group. They've just only just stopped and had a picnic and then they got up again and then they were moaning they couldn't get up the hill and obviously was tired and, you know. But they're out young people trying to enjoy themselves together. I noticed the girl wasn't carrying anything. The blokes had all the, the nutriments and the drinks. And she's tagging on behind. You know, playing out her role as the weak woman. And they're praising her. It's all good stuff, mine. I'm not knocking any of it. I mean, you know. I just pointed out where things are. Just want to do the odd short video. I can join this one up with the one with the deer because I haven't seen the deer reappear either. They've gone back down into the valley. Yeah, what happened when I did um, the Wee Valley thing or whatever it's called over there? I went up. I went down to the plantation, up the plantation. Came the other side of the trick point and then went down. I went down. I think that's. I think that one's Smith's Coombe, but it could be. It's that one over there. Those trees. It's hard to tell until you get close to it. It's hard to tell. What I think I'll do is just stay on this path, walk round, I'm going to go in reverse direction because if I go that way I'll end up going down the Wee Valley first. It's a beautiful day, there's a nice breeze actually just getting up now, nice breeze. This is the Quantock Hills everyone. I've done a lot of, in the last couple of years, and especially the last, last year, well no, the last three years I've really started to explore the Quantocks, big time. I just want to get to know every nook and cranny, so it could be that Smith's Coombe, the further one over there, if not, it's this one here. I haven't brought them up today, so I can't really tell. <sighs> That's handy about having Alberta, and it doesn't get dark to six. I'll pass now. I can. There's no panic, although I didn't. I've left up some food in the van, the apple and everything. <laughs> I wanted to unload in the weight. I've got one reasonable sized bottle of water, and I've got two oranges, I've got um, a packet of cheese, something or others, a packet of um, hoops, a wagon wheel and two small cakes. <clears throat> so in theory that should be enough. 
I just left a little drink in the van because I forgot to bring extra water. Although I've got loads of water for the flushing for the toilet, I haven't brought, I haven't topped up the van yet with drinking water ready for the regular trips out. So that's what I normally do. Instead of going up high where they were, I'm going to go, I'm going to follow this track here around. I decided just slightly lower around. Right, over and out.